What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and the Mortal Kombat 1 expansion is right around the corner. I think. Which means new characters will be added to the game, but not only new characters, new guest characters will be added. And I know everybody only wants Mortal Kombat characters, but guess what? Guest characters will be added. It's just the world we live in now, so if we are getting guest characters, which characters should they add to this game? We gotta talk about it. Man, boy, they coming out. All right, so I know y'all see the Mortal Kombat 1 hate all over your timelines, but despite what people are saying, Mortal Kombat 1 is very successful. More successful than Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6? Hmm. We'll talk about that tomorrow, but I say that to say I think we will be getting at least three combat packs based on how Ed Boon talks about the future of this game. And in combat pack one, we got three guest characters, which means if we get two more, we could potentially see six more added. But I don't know. Maybe they go all Mortal Kombat edition with one of these packs and we get less than that. So today I'm going to be giving y'all four guest characters I would like to see added to the main roster. And then I'm going to give y'all four guest characters I would like to see added to the cameo roster. Let's get into it. Revealing the first set. And this one is going to be pretty easy because we have Harley Quinn and we have the Joker. Now, yesterday we did a video talking about which guest character should return to Mortal Kombat, and I said Joker should not. We've already seen him in Mortal Kombat 8. He was basically in Mortal Kombat 9 because Shang Tsung stole his fatality, and we straight up saw him in Mortal Kombat 11 as well. So I don't think we need the Joker in Mortal Kombat 1, on the base roster at least. This is my favorite character from the DC Universe. I like the Joker more than I like Batman, so... I say put him in Mortal Kombat 1, especially if you're going to add Harley Quinn. I think he makes the perfect cameo, and main roster, cameo fighter, is good when they speak to each other. So I'm going to say we get Harley Quinn on the main roster because we barely, I don't think we ever got a woman as a guest character in Mortal Kombat. So I'm going to go main roster for Harley Quinn, but to tie her up perfectly... No pun intended there, because their relationship is kind of crazy. I'm going to say throw Joker in that same pack as a cameo, and it just would work out beautifully. So those are the first two characters I would like to see added as DLC. Let's go ahead and move on to the next set. That pairing makes me want Injustice 3 even more. But revealing the next set, we have... Ooh, that is General Bison. -hoo -hoo -hoo. And we have Akuma. Now, I don't know if y'all heard or not, but the Street Fighter creator was talking about, hey, how about we get Sub-Zero in Street Fighter? And I'll tell y'all what, if y'all get Sub-Zero in Street Fighter, I will love y'all forever, and I will make Street Fighter videos every day. Because while I love Ken and Ryu, if you put Sub-Zero in there, I'll probably play the game even more. So, let's get it done. But, if y'all want to have Sub-Zero, y'all got to give us something back. I mean, we got to scratch each other's backs. And if we look at the perfect Street Fighter characters that could be added to Mortal Kombat, I think one is General Bison. One I really don't see people talk about a lot, but this guy is crazy. This guy dies, he comes back, he's a boss. One thing I love about fighting games is when the boss character is an actual boss. You think about Shao Kahn, that's a boss. You think about Bison, that's a boss. You think about Duro from Virtual Fighter, not a boss i might get some flack for this one but i don't even look at heihachi and kazuya as bosses i think ogre was a better boss than both of them but hey mortal kombat 1 was shang soon and quan chi really giving us boss vibes i don't think that was the case either but back to the matter at hand we have general bison and we have akuma this one kind of got me on the fence because akuma's already been in tekken do we really want him in Mortal Kombat on the main roster? But I think these are the only two characters that could possibly work because they're not going to let us knock Ryu's head off. And I don't want to see Ryu as a cameo doing fatalities on Mortal Kombat characters. Doesn't work for me, brother. I say Bison would be really fresh. So do we put Bison on the main roster or do we put Akuma as the cameo? I think that's what I'm going to settle on. I think that's what I'm going to settle on. Yeah, Tekken already had Akuma. Let's just go all Bison Edition on the main roster, and we can get Akuma added as a cameo. That's where we're going with our Street Fighter additions to the game, but, I mean, either way, I don't think none of their characters are cooler than Sub-Zero, but shout-out to Capcom. I love y'all to death. I am a Capcom creator, but 
Let's go ahead and move on to the next set. We have <laughs> Ghostface, a character a lot of people have been clamoring for. I don't know why. I mean, I will say it, y'all. I will be completely honest with y'all. I've only seen Scream 1 and Scream 2. And from what I understand, I think the new Scream movie's having some issues. So I don't know why y'all want Ghostface in here. But hey, if y'all like him, I love him. Let's get it. And the next one is Pennywise. Now, Pennywise is a character, one of my favorite horror characters, period. Ever since the first movies, the ones that were like eight hours long, loved them. And the new movies made them even better. I think oh, the things he does, like he can even transform. He's the perfect Mortal Kombat character. So if you ask me, I say we get Pennywise on the main roster. And I say we go ahead and add Ghostface as the cameo. He can throw his knives and do all of those crazy things because you got to think about it. Ghostface really doesn't even have any special powers at all it's just really a guy in a mask running around killing teenagers and people who grew up to be old people i guess in the movies now i don't know i don't get the love for ghostface my favorite ghostface movies are the scary movies and they turned them into a joke there maybe that's why i don't respect him because he was in scary movie doing all of those crazy things i don't know maybe they can make them work y'all we will see but i would personally rather see pennywise added to the main roster now this last set these last two characters are probably the characters I want to see added to Mortal Kombat 1 more than anybody else on this list because these are characters that should have been in Mortal Kombat for a very long time, especially the first one. The second one, I understand, maybe it wouldn't have worked, but now we got the perfect chance to make it work. The first one is Michael Myers. We've had Leatherface. We've had Jason. We've had Freddy. All of these great characters we've had, but still no Michael Myers. Now, apparently they wanted to do it, and Michael Myers' owner said, that's what we're not doing. Hopefully something changed, because I think they just finished that recent trilogy they were doing. My favorite was Rob Zombie Michael Myers, so I want to get that big nasty man in here. Now, I know he's just a man in a mask too, just like Scream, but he's a nasty man in the mask. He's a beast. He's a monster. So Michael Myers fits in the Mortal Kombat universe, and hopefully before Mortal Kombat 1 is done, they can make it happen and get Jason in here with him because that is a match we definitely need to create. We saw Freddy versus Jason, but we still need to see Michael Myers versus Jason X. And the last one I have here is Chucky. I've been asking for Chucky in Mortal Kombat for a long time, but it was impossible to make it work. Now we got these cameos. I was thinking you could add Jennifer Tilly in the game and just have Chucky jumping off of her shoulder. That's pretty much what the cameo system is. So we don't even need Jennifer Tilly now. We see uh, Farrah. She can get on the character's back and do it up. Chucky can do the same thing. Look at him with the strap. And I want to see Bride of Chucky Chucky in there with the rips in his face. Not TV show Chucky. We got to cancel Christmas on that young man. So we are definitely going Michael Myers on the main roster. And we are going to lock Chucky in as a cameo fighter. So it pretty much lined up with our MKs. But you know what? At the last minute, we had to make the change there. Because I definitely would rather see Pennywise on the main roster in Mortal Kombat over Ghostface. Now, for those of y'all who made it to the end of the video, I'm going to give y'all a heads up. It's already been confirmed. This expansion is coming. And I will be giving it away to three people as soon as it drops. Well, these things are usually priced like a full game. And I got to buy it for myself, too. So I'm going to be giving it away to two people. So make sure y'all smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the giveaway. And I don't have Telegram, so ignore the bots in the comment section. I will be announcing the winners during a live stream. So you will know it's me telling you you won. Don't believe anybody else. Drop a like on the video to help me out. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And let me know what guest characters you would like to see added to Mortal Kombat 1 in the comment section. Bomb Squad, boof. <laughs> Thank you.